Now, over the years, we've tested out a lot of trail shoes on the channel from lots of different running brands. So Nike, Salomon, Saucony, Asics, Hoka, Topo Athletic, Ultra, and Innovate, but we haven't tested any trail shoes from the New Balance brand. That is until today, because we managed to get our hands on these two beauties. So we've got the Summit Unknown V4s, a nice lightweight responsive trail shoe, and then clearly at the other end of the spectrum, we've got the super soft and highly cushioned Fresh Foam X More Trail V3. So I'm in a bit of a predicament today. I've got two pairs of shoes to run. So which one shall we test out first? Let's go for the Summit Unknown V4s. Welcome back folks, thanks for joining us for another First Impressions video. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Hope everybody is fit and well out there in YouTube world. Now if this is your first time at one of our First Impressions videos, what we tend to do is give you a few stats about the new shoe. We'll also break down the construction in a bit more detail and then we'll get them on our feet, we'll lace them up and grab the cameras and bring you guys along on our first run. The first thing I've got to mention is I love the way this shoe looks in this super bold and very bright colorway. Now, don't worry if you're not a fan of very bright running shoes like myself, it does come in a slightly more subdued blue color option as well. They also do it in a standard version like the one we're reviewing today and a soft ground version that has a slightly more aggressively lugged outsole. Although looking at these, the lug depth looks pretty good anyway. The Summit Unknown V4s retail in the UK for 125 pounds. When it comes down to weight in a UK 10, they come in at 280. 80 grams and they run off a six mil heel offset. As far as the all important outsole, there's not actually a lot of information out there on the interweb. So I had to grab the trusty run for adventure ruler, give those lugs a quick measure. And it looks like uh, the outsole's got a combination of a lug depth of four to five mil. The shoes come with New Balance's green leaf standard. So that basically means that the upper is constructed using at least 50% recycled content and the midsole and the outsole have a minimum of 3% bio-based or recycled material. And this is definitely a good thing to hear because it's about time these big running brands got a bit greener. The upper is constructed using a very lightweight, highly breathable and very orange synthetic fabric. And New Balance have chosen to go for a booty construction. So that basically means that the tongue forms part of that upper to give you that very snug and very precise fit around your foot. Uh, the tongue's padding is quite stripped back just to allow you to get a nice secure lockdown around your midfoot. And we've got a moderate level of padding around that ankle collar and in the heel. Uh, New Balance have worked in some printed overlays uh, running along that midfoot, around the laces and wrapping around that toe box. And you get good levels of protection from a toe bumper. Finishing up, we've got a handy pull tab on the heel just to make it a little bit easier to get in and out of the shoe. As far as that midsole goes, we've got a full fuel cell foam setup. Now, I've been a massive fan of fuel cell cushioning on all the road shoes that I've run, but it's gonna be really interesting to see how it feels and how it handles that trail running environment. Flipping it over, like I've already mentioned, you've got a combination of four and five mil lugs on the outsole, and it has been clad in a hydrohesion rubber. That's there to give you good levels of grip and traction on a big mix of different terrains, no matter whether they're wet or dry. And you can probably just about make it out. We've got this red material poking through the outsole there, and that is New Balance's Rock Stop Rock Plate. That sits under your forefoot in that midsole construction, and that's gonna protect your feet when you're running in rocky, uneven technical terrain. So there you have it, folks, the brand new New Balance Fuel Cell Summit Unknown V4, the first New Balance trail running shoe to feature on the channel. But I think I've done enough talking for now, and it's time for some action so I'm gonna go and get my kit ready we'll see you guys into Hitty Woods and let's get running
welcome to the glorious Tahiti Woods. I don't think there's anything better than running in the woods when the sun's out and you get all those sun rays sort of scattering through the trees. Now, if you haven't watched one of our first impressions videos when we come out to Tahiti Woods and test the shoes out, this is an incredible place to run, bring the family and walk, or come on your mountain bike because there's nine miles of trails within the woods. The trails are also super varied. So you've literally got every type of underfoot conditions you could possibly think of. So loose trail, we've got rocky trail, we've got hard compact stuff, tarmac, rooted trail. And we've also got a super technical ridge line that we are definitely gonna be running today because I think this shoe is perfect for that type of terrain. As far as the summit unknown goes, the first thing I've got to mention is the fit. Well, it fits my foot shape like a glove. Super precise with that booty fit. I feel really dialed into that midfoot and just very secure. It almost feels like it's become an extension of my foot and I'm not really wearing a shoe. However, the downside to this is if you've got any width, this shoe is not gonna work for you. It is super narrow at the midfoot and in the toe box. I've gone up half a size like I always tend to do in a New Balance shoe and the length seems spot on. But like I said, if you need width, this is not the shoe for you and I'm not sure New Balance do a width version of it either but let's get down this trail we've got a nice bit of rooted technical trail here so let's give the shoe a proper testing Wow this shoe feels great Super nimble, really connected underfoot. It just wants to run fast, and the more technical, the better. it passed that test with flying colors like i thought back at the flat i thought it was going to be a really exciting shoe to run in and it definitely is so precise so dialed in so connected even down that rooted technical trail just felt awesome the weather's been pretty good in cornwall lately so the trails are pretty dry but the outsole handled everything with ease coming down there quite loose there was a bit of scattered mud as well but that five mil lug cope with it all no problems at all right okay we're just walking up this hill making our way to the ridge line and i already know how this shoe's going to perform there this is going to be great fun we're going to push really hard super technical lots of roots lots of off camber running and the ridge line goes for about three quarters of a mile and then you've got a real steep shoot to bring you back out to the trail down the bottom so let's get to the ridge line let's see how it goes here we are we're going in wish me luck an absolute piece of cake for the summit unknown v4 not only did i feel super stable so planted so connected but the outsole gave me great levels of traction and some of those trails are super loose and off camber and again no problems at all the shoe handled it all so well okay so that is four and a half miles done like i said earlier we're going to try and get seven miles in today so i'll see you guys back at the adventure bus but i'm heading off back into the woods to have some more fun
Okay, we are all done and a good 7.3 miles in the legs and that was a brilliant first run. Now, obviously it was just the first run, so I'm trying not to get carried away, but I really have run out of superlatives. So let's get back to the studio and let's break down the performance of the Summit Unknown V4 in a bit more detail, but what a great run. Well, that has to be one of the best first impression runs ever. And it was awesome being back out there into Hiddy Woods. It is such a great testing ground for trail running shoes. And the New Balance shoe really enjoyed being there as well. And we had a very exciting run. On the way back home in the adventure bus, I was kind of racking my brains to come up with maybe some negatives or things I feel that could be improved in the shoe. And if I'm honest, I couldn't really think of anything. The only thing I would say is, that the heel does come up quite high on the back of the leg on the Achilles there and didn't cause me any problems, anything like that, but I definitely noticed it. And maybe that's something some runners wouldn't get on with, but that really is about it. And everything else is just super positive. So we're gonna start off talking about how the midsole performed out on today's run, because I didn't really mention it out there today. So this is definitely not a deeply cushioned trail shoe. So I actually find that very refreshing in a world where all the running shoes seem to be getting softer and softer, and midsoles seem to be getting deeper and deeper, but there is definitely still enough uh, fuel cell foam under your foot that the shoe runs very comfortable on short sections of tarmac, and with the combination of that rock plate under your forefoot, it's also very comfortable on sort of more rockier, gravelly, compacted trails, and that plate actually offers a really good level of protection. And because of that lower profile on the midsole depth, the shoe really does give you all the connection and all the ground feel you could ever ask for when you're running on uneven ground. I never once doubted my footing. I felt nice and stable throughout the whole run. And what that does is give you lots and lots of confidence to push on and really attack those technical trails, which is obviously great fun and very exciting. I would say that the Summit Unknown V4 is kind of the trail equivalent of New Balance's Rebel V2 road shoe. Now, if you're an OG supporter of the channel, you'll know that I love running in that shoe. So that is high praise indeed. The outsole was fantastic out there today and these chunky lugs seem to really bite into the trails underfoot and I had no issues with grip at all. Even when I was sort of driving up steep climbs on very loose trails, I had good levels of traction and I honestly don't think I slipped once on today's run. And then we've got that hydrohesion rubber. It feels very sticky, very tacky. It was nice and dry out there on today's run. So it'll be really interesting to sort of test that outsole performance in wetter and more muddy conditions. And moving on to the upper, again, it performed well. It felt very light and airy and breathable wrapped around my foot, especially with that booty construction. I could get a really good lockdown around my midfoot so I had no sort of lateral or medial slippage within that upper and I didn't have to stop once to sort of adjust or retie those laces just the right level of padding in that tongue so it remains nice and comfortable across the top of your foot and you know it gave me that that feeling that I always look for in my trail shoes that no shoe feeling which just added to that sort of nimble responsive feel however I did mention it out there on the run that this is a narrow fitting shoe so very narrow at the midfoot and super narrow in that toe box which is great for me because it gave me a very precise feel and fit However, if you've got a bit of width to your forefoot or you like a lot of volume and space to wiggle those toes in the toe box, then I don't think this shoe is really going to work for you and I think you'd really struggle. So I got home, jumped online to check to see if uh, New Balance offer it in a width fit because as a brand, they're very good for offering those wider fitting shoes. Unfortunately, I don't think they do offer it in this model. So there you have it, the very exciting New Balance Fuel Cell Summit Unknown V4, a great trail running shoe with a kind of ridiculously long name, but I'll forgive them for that because I had so much fun running in them today. Uh, it really has to be one of the best first impression runs of the year so far, and I can see myself racking up the miles in these. I think it'd be a great shoe for those shorter, faster runs, especially on technical trails, or as a race day shoe from sort of 5K up to trail marathon. Next up when it comes to first impressions videos is gonna be these cushioned Goliaths. 
the Fresh Foam X More Trail V3s. Kind of uh, the complete other end of the spectrum to these. And um, I'm not sure these are gonna be as responsive, as nimble, and we're definitely not gonna have the same ground feel as the Summit Unknown. But I have been hearing good things about the performance of this shoe, especially when it comes to comfort. So really excited to get back out on the trails in another New Balance trail shoe soon. Just before we wrap the video up, I've got to give a big shout out to Ali from New Balance because he hooked us up with these two trail shoes, which is a really big help. You can imagine it can get quite expensive here at Run For Adventure, buying kit, buying gear to test and review. So when the brands support us and send kit our way, it is super appreciated. So thanks for that, Ali. Uh, really hope you've enjoyed the video. Really hope you found it helpful. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Only takes a couple of seconds to do, and it is completely free, but it is definitely a big help. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. It's really appreciated. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Have a minimum of 3% bio-based or recycled material content. Next up, when it comes to our first impressions, is going to be these cushioned Goliaths. So the Fresh Foam X More, more Trail, More Mile. No. Big shout out to Ali from New Balance because he, <laughs> he, he, hooked, he hooked us up. Let's do that again.